Hello everybody, it's me, Ghost Valkyrie, and this is my little secondary improvised thing because I screwed up my original intro, because I had to keep clicking back and forth between different windows, and I clicked off of the topics that I want to talk about because I suck at talking off the top of my head. Anyway, basically what I'm trying to do for this video is just a simple little Tempest Trial video where I go through, I talk about things, and... I use that as, as an excuse to basically just not have to deal with script writing. So for this summer, I have been working with an internship. And that is part of why I've been a little bit... Not as really super... How would I, how would I describe this? I've been more disinterested in and less motivated for writing my scripts than usual, mainly because I am currently working on my summer internship where I have to write for things. And it's kind of hard to have the motivation to write for scripts and also for a job at the same time. So I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna make some unscripted content. And I figured, you know what, I like running through Tempest Trials, playing it for myself. And yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know why I left combat animations off for this long, but here we go. I'll just like mush. I'm gonna mush some of this audio together because yeah, I, I I didn't start off this video too well. But let's not let's ignore that. That's not important. Anyway, I'm gonna be starting off with this new sort of series where. Tempest Trials and Chill, and then I'm also going to do Forging Bonds and Chill, where I basically just run through those modes and use my daily getting of materials and stuff and objects as an excuse for content without having to do script stuff, which I think I just said like five seconds ago. This is going off to a great start, <laughs> can you tell? Uh, but yeah, I probably expect a little bit more of this sort of unscripted content just for the fun of it just for heck of it and we'll see how this goes I hope it goes I hope it goes well so far not really that great for me uh, I mean the game the gameplay I think I'm doing just fine with but talking talking wise not my greatest not my greatest achievement not my greatest Oh, I was expecting Dragon Wall to basically tank through that, but I forgot that Ganevery has, or however you pronounce her name, has a million res. But oh well, Ina's safe. She's fine. That's all that matters. I, am sated. I made her this really funny set where I killed Saros to her, so I just threw Dragon Wall and Impact on her, and then I killed what's his face, Zeke for Menace, and now I just make her. A sort of an atypical dragon where she's strong but she's a wall so she's not really as focused on being offensive unlike your usual typical distant counter quick repost funny nowy I don't care about trying that I feel like I feel like doing something funny and do something funny I indeed have done I'll be like hearing Ash say, I'll give my summer summer my all over and over again too. But either way, I think I'm gonna get on to my first real topic of the day, which is my Three Houses experience. So Three Houses is an interesting game. I tried it out for the, my first route that I ever tried was Blue Lines, because I like Dimitri. I do. I don't care for Edelgard. I'm not going to get into that topic, because that topic is, as I'm sure all of you know, very unha uh, not a very good time, not a very fun discussion on the internet. So basically, I went and I did that. I did Blue Lines first, just a typical sort of casual, easy mode, funny mode, just so I can get my bearings on the game. And I, I think I enjoyed it. I think it was probably one of the better routes that I did play 
Although I did really love the later game Golden Deer. I, I don't know if that was a trend that other people have also stuck with or not. But I did, I did actually prefer late game Golden Deer over late game Black Eagles, especially when, spoiler alert, the last map of Blue Lions is just a regular map towards the end of the game in Blue Lion in Golden Deer, and it just felt a little annoying to have to repeat that map, but slightly easier. I'm not really too fond of some of the maps in Three Houses. That's kind of why I opted against actually trying to also try my hand at Black Eagles. I, I did actually play a little bit of Black Eagles, like I got a little bit into it, but the problem was is that I made the really awful mistake of trying to trying out this really really hard DLC map very early on in the game. I think I managed to spare a decent amount of units because Caspar managed to just completely go off and hit a like a 32% gambit. I don't know why I had tried that, but I that's just something I remember from that. But on that map I lost both Bernie and Petra and that just absolutely murdered my motivation to play it. Like, my, I think my biggest issue with trying to play through three houses was just because there was so many of them. Was because there was so many maps or so many repetitive features like, oh, you have to train up this person and you gotta do this again and again and again. Just the academy arc just... It, I did not want to do that for a third time and so I... My end for gold for Golden Deer just for uh, Black Eagle just sort of stopped there, and I didn't bother. I didn't bother trying it again because I didn't want to. <laughs> now I, I did what I did like about Blue Lions. I think Blue Lions overall was probably my favorite route. I I love I love the the resolution for. I love the resolution for a Golden Deer. I felt it the most satisfying to me. Although, I do like the more... That it was more focused on... I, I do like that it was more focused on Elgar and Dimitri's sort of... I, I wouldn't call it a relationship, but... They're dynamic, I'll call it. They're dynamic. I did find that that was a lot more thrilling as opposed to, oh, I want to walk the same path with you, bonk, the end. And then that's it for Edelgarden, Golden, Elk. But I, I don't know. It, I, I, had a, I had a good time with it. I don't think I ever want to come back to that game personally, at least not anytime soon. Who knows, maybe I'll go back and do a Golden... Oh uh, a Black Eagles run just so I can get that full experience, but I don't know. Just I don't. I really don't like the Academy arc. It's way too tedious for me to enjoy. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh. I guess for other three house, I guess for the characters themselves, as you can probably guess by my talk about Dimitri and Edelgard, you pretty much already know that I prefer Dimitri to Edelgard. That's my opinion. Y'all can think whatever you want about it. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of characters that I do really like. I remember in my first, I remember this one video that I had made for my like three houses where I said three houses initial thoughts and I said oh I don't like Hilda I don't care for Hilda at all and then I played three houses and then I said oh hey now that I actually know what this character is I actually like this character what a surprise what a what a wacky turn of events this has become and that's <laughs> that's how I found myself enjoying 
Hilda a lot more, and it's also kind of stupid. A difficult decision. Thank you, Mr. News Thing, for interrupting my thing. I'm just gonna black that out with uh, some sort of thing, just so I can not have that show up in my video. I really hate this stupid phone. Sometimes, like, I get a lot of scam calls and things from this phone. It's kind of sucks, but it served me for, like, almost five or six years. I'm not the kind of person who replaces their phone, so I don't care about replacing mine. I'm not gonna bother with that. Just because I don't think I need to. But yeah, back to the topic of three houses. Uh, Marianne. I really like Marianne. Absolutely one of my favorite Golden Deer characters. Uh, I like Claude too. Claude's also great. I'm one of like Time for a break. three people who actually likes Leone. I don't think I'm gonna bother building her though, just cause I, will be I don't think I need to, and I already have I already have Bronerdetta. I don't need I don't need another one. I don't need another Cav Archer. I already have plenty, and I'd rather not use a, a character who I need to get Grails for, since I want to save those Grails for another one of my projects. I'm trying to think of what other projects I do have for Grails right now. Um, I think I started something new recently, but I can't remember off the top of my head what exactly it was. I don't, I don't keep t track of my merges. I don't keep track of my builds too well, because I don't really build that many units. A lot of the units that I do build are usually 4-star exclusive units, or I got a 5-star, and I managed to get some merges. I think Annette is one of my most dedicated 5-stars. To this day, I do not have a single 5-star plus 10 exclusive unit. I think the most I have is a 5-star plus 3 uh, Yolger, who I made into my Blazing Wind Special Spiral AoE Funny Dagger Unit. This way. And she has served me quite well, extraordinarily well. I've used her to beat a couple Abyssal maps. So I enjoy her greatly. Surprised? Also, let's go Ina naturally doubling a Cordelia. I know she has a Brave Lance, but... <laughs> Still kind of funny. But yeah, back to the Three Houses topic, I... As you can see by me using Ash, Ash is one of my favorite characters in Three Houses because he is the best boy ever. You can fight me on this, I will... I will, I will cry. I'll cry. Please don't. Please don't fight me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Who's there's someone else? I'm trying to think of some other... Blue Lions characters. Obviously, I like Dimitri. Um... What now? <laughs> I'm talking about how much I love Blue Lions, and I'm absolutely no characters are coming to mind right now aside from Ash. <sighs> I, I, I like Catherine. Catherine's not Blue Lions, but I I used her on my Golden Deer playthrough. I, I just find her really funny, actually. They're, during her... Like, you know when you feed them all food in the dining hall? Catherine has, like, a line that's like, Food always gets me fired up! Yeah, let's go fight somebody! <laughs> that one always cracks me up. <laughs> Something about that just always... That will never not be funny to me. That will never not be funny to me. Yeah, I... I was going to use Shamir in Black Eagles, but obviously because of my... Lack of... Desire to keep playing at the moment. That I'm probably not gonna ever touch Shamir unless I ever decide to replay Three Houses. But I'm, I, 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 I'm not really maybe the best person to judge her character in that case just because 
I, I don't know what her character really is that much, aside from she was an assassin person who grew up doing something, and that was her life. Cool. Now, Rhea, I, I, I don't really care about Rhea that much. Some people think she is fantastic, some people absolutely hate her, mainly people who like Edelgard and just like kind of Church's story and all that stuff. I'm kind of indifferent to a lot of the more Church-based characters, like, I mean, Sedith I like, I don't really care too much about him. Flane's nice, but I don't really care too much about her. I, I don't know. I just never really. It's like a to how? Do, okay, I just real. I just don't know how I forgot this. I don't know how I forgot him, but Didu is amazing, and I actually have kind of a funny story with him during my Blue Lions run. Okay, so I don't know how I screwed this up, but I am sated. at the end of the game, I somehow did not have a single person who I could S support. I tried marrying a freaking Mercedes because I love Mercedes, but that didn't work out for whatever reason. So, just the, the credits are rolling, and I'm thinking, "Oh, when's the scene with the uh, her gonna happen?" And freaking to do ends up being the one who ends up marrying. Frickin' Mercedes, even though, like, he was, like, like, an MVP, and I'm like, he's my boy, but my boy cucked me. <laughs> How can you do this to do? How, I, I thought you were my friend. <sighs> so that was... You know what? It's to do. He deserves it. He absolutely deserves it. So. You're welcome, to do. You're welcome. <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying about supports, I do like, I like Mercedes a lot too. Mercedes is great. I love her voice actor, and I love that it, she just sounds, it, she just sounds like the kind of character who can say the absolute nicest sounding thing in her voice, but what she's actually saying is something really mean or something like that, but she, it can still come off as... It can still come off as sounding, like, nice just because she has that very nice girl sort of voice. I am I was going to... I, I, I took I hesitated a second because I was considering actually voicing it. But then I realized, no, that's a terrible idea and I don't want to force you all to hear my awful Mercedes impression. So, you're welcome. Um, who's that? Who else is... Oh, Sylvain, of course. Sylvain is a character who I find quite amusing. He is kind of an interesting take on that whole... Wow. Female Ooga Booga sort of character. And then... Making it more so about like, oh, he, he just gets a little annoyed about people wanting him for his Chris as opposed to that sort of thing. I've... I don't know if that's kind of an attitude or mindset I should promote. I don't think it should be, but... I don't know, I, I found him enjoyable. I found him to have some pretty funny lines, especially with Ingrid. Ingrid is probably not really a, not really one of my more favorite Three Houses characters. Just not really... She, she didn't really do it for me. And of course, there's the very obvious thing that people don't like about her usually. I don't know if bringing that up would make me demonetize, so I'm not. I'm not gonna say the funny racism word, but yeah. Oh, who am I kidding? It probably won't matter, but oh well, doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna breathe in this on his face. Oh, she breathed through orb in her chest. Never mind. <laughs> 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 I 
Why, why did I make that noise? Oh god, I spit all over my phone. This is disgusting. This is the train wreck. This is the travesty. Uh, uh, ah! What have I done? I wonder if you can get a glimpse of my lock screen for that one moment. I'm not even gonna cut that out. I'm gonna leave that in there. any other characters. I, I guess if I should bring up any characters from Black Eagles before I end this massive Three Houses talk. I, I, I do- I, I kind of like Bernie. I prefer Marianne a lot more to her. I feel like Marianne just kind of did her character, but a little better. But I, I wouldn't say that I, I- I definitely don't dislike her. I, I find her- I found that some of her interactions were actually really kind of funny. I think I heard that she had like a really, really funny support with Hubert, but of course, never got to see that, so. So much for that! I do kind of, from when I recruited Petra, I don't think I used her too much, but from the few supports that I did have with her, I found her. I found her kind of endearing and kind of interesting. And she does sort of have that sort of more realistic style of she is speaking in a language that's not her first language and isn't entirely perfect, but isn't. Will the term be affluent? Would that be the? Would that be a good phrase for it? Affluent. It, it, it feels like a fairly realistic and just kind of inoffensive sort of type of I'm not native here, but I'm still trying my best to speak the language and we each have different beliefs and customs and blah 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 and I, I find that kind of interesting. I do like to learn about different peoples and kind of beliefs they have, so I think that that sort of idea for a character is something that I find pretty enjoyable and pretty unique and fun. Other than that, I can't really think of any... Oh, shoutouts to Raphael. Raphael is funny. Yay. Also, he's super endearing to, to, his, to, his, to his sister and love that too. Also, I think he had like a really funny support with Marianne, that was also kind of endearing as well. Aww. Take a shot every time I say endearing in this video. <laughs> Let's beat the heat. Yeah. You in. I There's unfortunately just a few characters who I never really got to use that much. I never really used Caspar. I, 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 I think I may have used him a little bit but not too much. I don't know, I just, I just kind of already had, in Blue Lions, in Blue Lions, I already had to do as my, as Mr. Punchy, and then in Golden Deer, I had Raphael, so I didn't really have any real desire to try and make him usable, or to use him at all, so that just kind of, he just didn't really get used, and that was the end of that. But yeah, I think that about summarizes my Three Houses experience. So I think I'm going to change the subject now that I've mostly gotten through with this video a decent amount. Fellow Effie Tubers that I talk with and have met in 2021. So I do, I have tried my best to try and keep up. I haven't really done my best to keep up with all the Effie Tuber friends that I've sort of accumulated over the years and lately. I mean, I don't, I don't really talk to too many people, but I'm still friends with a decent amount of people like. Bismix. Bismix is still uh, 
really good friend. Let's beat the heat. Could not not just cool in his videos, but he's also like a really, actually generally really great guy outside of his videos as well, and has been. I am sated. A, really, I just enjoy to hang out with. And of course, there's also a few other people. I've I've talked about uh, Future Vision, who is someone who I'm good friends with as well, and have talked with a decent amount. I've definitely joined her on more than a few streams. Hello, um, this is gonna be my last Tempest Trial run just to cap off the video nice and easy. I pray for your safety. Yeah, I do hope I can this way. do a bit more with her because I haven't done any... I haven't done any calls with anyone in a while and, you know, I, I, I'd love to do... Uh, a collab with her at some point because she is really funny and <laughs> I feel I feel like the two of us just click in humor and Time for a break. all that. <laughs> yeah, someone else who I am friendly with, uh, XX, XXX Tactician, probably one of my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite names ever for. Uh, any Fire Emblem game at user like person. Yay. This way. I was a bit worried about that Nino for a second. Aww. I am uh, there's Fedison. Fedison's been a great friend uh, who I've... Ha. Actually, I haven't really talked to him too much. I kind of met him over Twitter. I, I used I used to put Twitter in my in my description, but honestly, most of what I do is repost art, talk with friends, and Let's beat the heat. mostly just that in on my Twitter account. So I figured there's no real point in advertising anymore. I am sated. How am I gonna deal with this? How am I gonna deal with this bird man? I guess I could throw. I think we're gonna throw throw her in there and then repo out. Yeah, Fedison has some really funny content if you want to. Time for a break. A difficult decision. If you want to give him a watch, I def absolutely recommend vis visiting his channel. Nice 28 damage, idiot. <laughs> I am sated. Treats, please. Well, I was trying to think of if there's anyone else. Let's beat the heat. That should be my catchphrase for this video. Sink or swim. Or for <laughs> just any live Let's video. I'm trying to think, but I cannot. I have no words, and I must commentate. What now? The new thr thrilling, gripping sci-fi novel about one FVTuber who cannot speak for the life of him. Let's get going. Time for a break. I mean, there's actually a few people who I have talked with in the FV community on Twitter, like... Coffee, Emblem, and Skides. Those two are... I I've talked with Skides a good amount. He actually has some... Skides actually has some of like, the best takes that I've heard from a person uh, in a good long while. He's... This way. Yay. Here we go. He's a smart guy. I don't know what else I can say. He's a smart guy. <laughs> he actually does like a bunch of like 3D printing I in the past. I don't know if he... I assume he still does it. And he, he did one, like, recently for Edelgard, and that was actually really nicely done. So I gotta hand it to him. The guy's, the guy's really creative. The guy's really fun to talk with. The guy's really... He's a good friend. Excuse me? I pray for your safety. 
Yeah, I think Copy Emblem is someone who does more, like, drawing, necessarily, than, than anyone else. I, I can't say I've... I, I don't... I, I doesn't even have a YouTube channel? I don't actually know this. Oh, I wasn't paying attention and I threw Ash directly into the face of Tadu. That's not good. Well, he did 12 damage with, uh... Oh, I have made a horrible mistake. A difficult decision. Excuse me? Mistake solved. Mistake solved. What We're now? good. All's good. All's well that ends well. Crisis averted. Thank you, Avil, for sewer sliding into Ina. Ashkin. Oh, don't frick no! I am a genius. I'm a very bright man. I'm a a peak intellectual. Oh my god, I'm I just did the same exact thing. I cannot think for the life of me. This way. Well, at least Anna on it killed, so I didn't make a horrible mistake once again. Save skills, man. Save skills. Ah! Uh, pain! Pain and suffering. Get out of here, Claude. Get out of here. My voice just cracked horribly. I apologize. Well, it's fine. I, Ina can take care of the funny Hilda on the last map. Yeah, honestly, I, I can't really think of anything that I can... There isn't really any too many new people that I've really met this year, aside from the few that I've mentioned. Actually, Skides is someone who I've known for a good long while, but he's someone who I... Didn't talk to as much in the past. I think I got introduced to him on a stream where... Me, Bismix, and XXX Tactician were like, Hey, let's... Well, they came up with the idea, and they said, hey, let's read this guy's, guy's stream, and I'm like, okay, I have no idea who this guy is, I'll join, I and I, I think, like, it was a little bit after that that the voice call ended, so I just kind of stuck around on the street, and I was like, hey, I actually kind of like this guy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick around and talk and whatnot, and yeah, from then on, we, no, we've just been friends, and I appreciate that. Goodbye, Mr. Bunny. This way. Most of this year, obviously, has been very... Or most of this past year, obviously. You can, you can probably imagine where or what I have been doing. Because... Yeah. Wor life, world, issues, things. Blah. This way. Let's get going. I am sated. A difficult decision. I'm gonna I'm gonna park you right here. I'll make it back. I was amazed he actually did damage, but then I remember that this guy has null buffs on his thing, so less res, less damage reduction. Doesn't matter now. Still going to obliterate this man with funny dragon. The funniest dragon of them all. This is exactly why I make her into a into a wall instead of quick repose. She's stupid. I love the little loop de doop the little loop de whoop she does. I know it's loop de loop, but I'm gonna call it a loop de whoop. And I definitely did not intentionally... I, I totally did not slur up my words at all when I said that. I'm, I'm just gonna run, run with it now. I'm, I officially dub that little Pinocchio spinny thing the loop-de-whoop. 
and it shall forever be as such. And you can never deny it. You're welcome. Alright, looks like we're doing funny dragon versus funnier dragon. I, I was gonna talk about some other topics, but I don't really think I have the need for them. So... First of all, Pale Breath go burr. Second of all... Uh... This is just sort of like the wrap up of the video, so I'm gonna... I, I guess I should. This is why. This, see, this is why I have scripts. This is why I have scripts. I don't live commentate well. Hopefully, this new series will help make that a little bit better, a little bit easier on me. Maybe give me a little bit of practice. Give me a little, a little bit of a workaround. Twenty times two. Oh my god. Can I take you out? No, I can't. That's an issue. That's a big issue. That's no longer an issue. We're good. Surprised? Surprised? Yes, I am. I'm very surprised. I think I'm just gonna run this duo skill just so I can... Decrease her damage. And then because of extra cooldown, she'll be able to initiate with an Iceberg. No, she can't. <laughs> well, she'll have it now. Actually, no, wait, no, she won't, because Pulse Smoke again. Oh my god. A green. Pl can I le let me say one correct thing, one correct statement about your combat, please? I would appreciate it. Oh, did she already hit that back? That was fast. Alright. Do a skill again! Well, now that we've obliterated this mirror, I think I'm gonna call it there. That video is... It's about a 35-ish minute video. 37-ish. I think I've done... Pretty well for myself. I've already gotten all the rewards. And I think that's, yeah. So thank you all everybody for watching. If you like this, I'll do more of this. I'll try to have a better start, a better, more cleaner start. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.